Regular meeting of the zoning administrator for the city of San Clemente. My name is Cecilia Gallardo Daly, and I'm your zoning administrator. Uh, the first order of business is to receive and file the minutes from the December 22nd, 2022 zoning administrator meeting. So received and filed. The next item on the agenda is oral communication. Um, this is the time on the agenda for any member of the audience to address the zoning administrator on an issue uh, that is not on the agenda. Um, but it doesn't look like there's anyone here to speak on something that's not on the agenda. So we will move on. Um, the next item are the public hearings. The, um, the public hearing process includes a staff presentation, a presentation by the applicant not to exceed 10 minutes, and public testimony not to exceed three minutes per speaker. Following closure of the public hearing, the zoning administrator will respond to questions raised during the hearing, discuss the issues, and act upon the matter by motion. So our first public hearing item is a minor conditional use permit uh, for SC Body Care Spa at 1001 Avenida Pico, Suite J. So David, can you give us a staff report on this item? Yes, good afternoon. So this is a minor conditional use permit to allow the addition of massage, massage technicians to an existing spa that, uh, the spa is known as SC Body Care. Body Care. Uh, which offers accessory massage services as a sole provider uh, right now. Uh, again, the suite is at 1001 Avenue Pico, Suite J, within the neighborhood commercial 1.2 zone of the Rancho San Clemente specific plan. Uh, the suite is on the second level and is surrounded by retail, restaurants, and personal services. Uh, some background, in 2015, uh, the SC Body Care obtained a business license uh, for a beauty spa, which included uh, beauty and esthetician services, as well as accessory massage services, again, as a soap provider. Um, current hours of operation are between 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. Uh, daily. Prior to the massage ordinance of the city becoming effective in 2015, this is when uh, SC Body Care obtained the license, the business license, to operate the accessory massage services. Therefore, a minor conditional use permit was not required. Uh, the current code for massage uh, businesses requires that a minor conditional use permit uh, be obtained to operate such services. And we'll go more into detail uh, shortly. Uh, with that. So the applicant is proposing again to add massage technicians to support the existing massage uh, services serving as a secondary use. The hours will remain the same between 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. daily. Uh, since the accessory massage service of the beauty spa is currently legal non-conforming due to the, the absence of the minor conditional use permit, any change or expansion, uh, including an increase in availability of services, uh, per code re requires or would deem it uh, not conforming or would require that they uh, conform to today's code. Um, hence why we're here today, uh, requesting the minor conditional use permit to provide massage technicians for the accessory massage services. Uh, so per staff's analysis, staff finds that required findings can be met. Given that the proposed use is subject to the requirements for accessory massage services as required by the zoning ordinance section 17.28.185, these requirements include standards for signage, interior access and visibility, and operational standards that the business will be required to maintain uh, compliance with. Parking requirements uh, are also satisfied given that the overall use of the suite remains the same. The manager of the business holds an active license from the California Massage Therapy Council. Uh, and lastly, the Orange County uh, Sheriff's Department, as well as uh, Code Compliance, both review the project and support the uh, proposed use or the addition of the massage technicians. Uh, so with that, staff is recommending that the zoning administrator determine the project is categorically exempt from CEQA. And approve the project subject to conditions. And this concludes my presentation. And we did receive one comment that was provided to the zoning administrator via email. Um, and we have the applicant available and staff uh, for any questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I don't have any 
questions of staff to the report of Mr. Oak. Would the applicant wish to speak? Uh, me? Yeah. Um, and you can just state your name for the record. Oh, um, my, my name is uh, Wan Wan Zen. <laughs> so my, uh, but normally I go by Angel. Okay. Yeah, so I've been business established since 2016. So been running right now is about 80 years. So most of my clientele is from a local and um, I get a lot of local clients that also support me and appreciate and uh, this too is my favorite and they're from local and then they have been my kind of for since the opening. So I hope to continue my business, mm -hmm. do success mm -hmm. and uh, thank you for everybody for the work on that. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Thank um, you. I have a question about um, your hours. Um, uh, 10 to 9. 10 to 9. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, and those are, I know those are the hours that are um, proposed for massage services as part of the business, and those are the hours that um, are, line up with your existing business as well? 10 to 9? Uh, 10 to 9. 10 to 9. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, I think now I will um, open the public hearing, and um, is there anybody wishing to speak on this item? Want to say anything? Talk about no. Okay, just here to support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was here if there was going to be any issues or can, you know, but I reviewed all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I was here to support your. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, because my English is not yeah. good, so that's why. Okay. Well, wonderful. Thank you for being here. Yeah. All right. Um, so, not seeing anyone here wishing to speak uh, at the public hearing, I'm going to close the public hearing on the item. Um, I'm familiar with the um, with the plaza, um, with the business. It has been operating for a number of years, um, and um, the um, the information in the staff report is um, very clear and thorough. The request is um, pretty straightforward. It's an increase in the availability of massage services on site. So um, I um, have read through the the findings and the conditions of approval um, and I, I can make the findings for the minor conditional use permit. So um, first I want to determine that the project is categorically exempt from the requirements of CEQA pursuant to guideline, CEQA guidelines section 15301 um, and um, there are conditions of approval um, related to this use that um, are in compliance with the municipal code to ensure um, 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 that the operations of the business um, are done in compliance with the um, public health, safety, and welfare. So with that, I will approve resolution ZA23-001, the minor conditional use permit 22-299 SE body care spa with accessory massage, subject to the conditions of approval. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. We are going to move on to the next public hearing item on the agenda. It is a month. Thank you. Thank you. Thomas, do you have anything for me to sign? No. Where's that? Um, David, we'll email you, um, you. A, a form that says that you agree to the conditions okay. of approval. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'll email that to you and uh, then I will send you the signed resolution. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. You too. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank okay. you. All right. So we'll move on to the next public hearing item. It's a minor cultural heritage permit uh, for, oh, and a minor exception permit for a remodel and addition at 216 Avenida Victoria. And we will have uh, Laura Corey, our staff planner, give us a presentation on this item. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to introduce to Anne, Judy, Hager, uh -huh. and Michael Lennon, the applicant. Hello. And the nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Wonderful. All right. So this is a um, um, minor cultural heritage permit and a minor exception permit for the remodel and addition 
It's an expansion of greater than 50% of a non-conforming 840-square-foot um, single-family residential structure and a 225-square-foot non-conforming garage to remain without modification and add 545 square feet of living space and 190 square foot studio attached to the garage. Um, the project is located at 216 Avenida Victoria. It's in the residential medium zone, also the coastal overlay zone, and it is within the cate um, city's category categorical exclusion order <laughs> and the property abuts a historic structure and is close in close proximity to five others. Um, it's an existing single family residence. It's non legal non-conforming as the primary dwelling and the garage um, encroach into the five foot um, side yard setback. Additionally, the garage only provides one single parking space where two covered parking spaces are required. Um, so the project proposes to remodel the existing residence in a contemporary design and adds 735 square feet um, and it represents an increase of more than 50% of the ex existing structure. Um, the project meets the requirements of the zoning ordinance for additions of legal non-conforming structures as the residence is smaller than um, 1,400 square feet and may be expanded to 2,100 square feet with the approval of a minor exception permit. Um, the addition is within the lot coverage and it's under 50% and it complies, the additions comply with the side and rear setbacks. Um, the project is outside the architectural overlay and does not require it to be um, Spanish colonial revival mm -hmm. architecture. It is a budding historic structure, um, but it poses no negative impacts as it's not seen from across the street. Um, the proposed project um, changes the height of the existing single family structure, but is within the height limit of the zone and no significant impacts of massing or scale um, as it is a single story proposed. And views from the historic structure across the street are not affected. Um, the applicant proposes the current conditions by obtaining um, the minor cultural heritage permit and the minor exception permit. Um, the additions and the remodel are contemporary in design. Um, they propose to modify the exterior walls and the existing building and the roof element, but the design is to, style is in scale. Um, with the neighborhood and complies with the applicable portions of the city guidelines. So let's see. The exterior um, improvements in the addition comply with the zoning ordinance for the setbacks and lot coverage and building height. And the expansion of the legal nonconforming complies with the zoning code um, 1772.050 for um, repairs and alterations and expansions of a nonconforming um, structure. Mm -hmm. Um, therefore, staff recommends the zoning administrator determine the project exempt from CEQA pursuant to CEQA guidelines 15301 class 1 existing facilities and adopt resolution 2303-003 approving the minor cultural heritage permit 22360 and MEP 22361, the hangar land and remodel and addition subject to the attached conditions of approval. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, so, Laura, just two clarifying sure. questions. Um, the proposed additions um, adhere to the required side Backs. foot setback. Yes. Okay, got it. And then um, uh, you mentioned this in your oral presentation, and it's stated a couple times in the staff report that this property abuts historic, a historic resource, but it doesn't abut, it's across the street. Yes, our code determines... Uh, a budding to be even adjacent uh, um, across, across the, street. the street because the property lines intersect at the street. At the street, got the, it. Okay, the subject property. Thank you for that clarification. Yes. I know I when you see, about, I about yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. When you think of a budding, you think of something that is yes. coterminous with yes. something else that's touching it. And it's you know when you look at this, it's well, it's not next door or in the you know behind it. It's across, across the street, the street. Yes. and that makes a difference. Yes. But yes. I understand the technicalities of the code yes. where the where the property lines meet. Okay, so thank you for that clarification. Mm -hmm. 
Um, okay, well, I don't have any follow-up questions, so um, we'll turn it over to the applicant. If you want to say a few words or mention anything about the project, uh, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, it's a pretty simple project, and it's, um, you know, a simple house for ourselves to retire in, and we love San Clemente and the neighborhood, and so we, at one point in time, had planned to build a duplex there. Mm -hmm. And it decided to just kind of scale down and mm -hmm. stick with something. That's all we need. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a small house. Yeah. Mm, nice. Okay. And we've been involved with San Clemente for many, many years. So it's it's good to have a house to come to now. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Well, I don't have any follow up questions for you guys. I thought your plans were very, very well done. Um, the you know the the improvements that are proposed to the the, the lot and um, the addition and the, the modifications to the exterior were all very well presented graphically, so it was really easy to see what it was that you guys were proposing, and the staff report was very thorough, Laura, thank so thank you. I appreciate that. So I don't have any follow-up questions. Um, I will open the public hearing. Seeing that there's no one here to speak, I'm going to close the public hearing. And... Um, I've um, read the conditions, reviewed the plans, looked at the, the staff report, um, and um, reviewed the findings for the minor cultural heritage permit and the minor exception permit. Um, the proposed changes comply with the requirements of the code. Um, the residents, the modifications to the residents and the proposed alterations are designed to be compatible in scale with the with the neighborhood. Um, you even maintain the existing single story profile of the resident. So um, the proposed project uh, will not have a negative visual or physical impact on the abutting adjacent historic <laughs> resources or the, the historic structures in the in the area. So um, let's see, what else is I gonna say about that? Um, I think it'll be a great addition to the neighborhood. Yep. So Thank with you. that, I'm going to determine the project is categorically exempt from the requirements of CEQA, pursuant to CEQA guidelines section 15301, class 1 existing facilities, and I approve resolution ZA23-003, minor conditional, I'm sorry, minor cultural heritage permit 22-360, and minor exception permit 22-361. The Hager Land and Remodel in addition, subject to the conditions of approval. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. All right. So well, um, we'll once we get everything signed, we'll send you a, uh, a sheet so that you look at the conditions and can approve everything and sign your consent, and then okay. we wait for the two weeks, <laughs> the next city council meeting. Yes, yeah, so the next. Yeah. <laughs> next meeting mm -hmm. then we're and there are no challenges or appeals then we're good mm -hmm. okay good. all right oh, great good. all right so i'm going to continue with the agenda um but you guys can oh you guys don't have to stay okay yes. well, thank you very much Bye, thank you thank yeah you so all right thanks take care you as well all right um so the next item on the agenda is new business see none we'll move on to the next item old business seeing none i will adjourn this meeting um, to the next regular meeting of the Zoning Administrator to be held at 3 p.m. on Thursday, February 9th, 2023. 2023. At the Community Development Department, first floor community room offices located at 910 Cayenne Negocio, San Clemente, California.